Hi, it is that time. Time for dahlias. They are definitely waking up and if you know me, I am an incredibly passionate fan of dahlias. I am here to convince you that even if you have a small garden, you can grow so many dahlias. But if you want to grow just one to try it, I'm also going to show you my favorites to grow in your small garden. This is going to be a two part series. The first one is today and it will be about my favorites. But first I'm going to show you everything that I know about dahlias and why you should grow them and consider growing them in your small garden. The next series, that's when the stock is really fun because I am going to be showing you exactly how I grow these dahlias indoors. I'm going to show you how I divide them in the spring. It is so easy and it makes it really, really not complicated for somebody who's starting. And then how do I start them indoors to get a head start and get, make sure that I know that the dahlia is in good shape, growing, and there's no issues. And in your small garden, you're not wasting any space because I know I don't have any space to spare. <laughs> For the next video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I go through the whole process and you can probably do it with me. This will be super fun. I have a few ones and you will not believe how good they're doing. If you saw my last video about dahlias, I show you how to dig them out, when to do it, the whole process to store in them. So I'll link that video at the end so you can watch it. So let's get going and all of the tips and my favorite dahlias. I tell you that I started growing dahlias four years ago or five years ago. Yeah, maybe five or six years ago. It was when I first moved here. My mother bought one dahlia at the market. I had no idea what they were. That was probably about five years ago and I was hooked. It was this pink dahlia, a dinner plate, so pretty. I don't have it any longer, but I enjoy that dahlia that it woke up a beast in me because I can stop buying them. This is the first year I bought no dahlias because I have so many tubers and I'm growing so many other flowers. I want to go ahead and grow the dahlias that I really fell in love with last year. Last year was a year of experimenting with new types of dahlias and I really am passionate about some of the ones that I grew last year that I will share with you at the end of the video but if you want to go ahead and watch it I'll put a stamp down below and you can go ahead and watch that but first of all dinner plate dahlias are gorgeous but there's so many other ones that you can get there's like the pom pom and there's the cactus ones so I have a little bit of each one to show you on this video Listen, I know dahlias are pricey when you're first buying to buy that first tuber. I probably paid $20, $25 for a tuber. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. But the great thing is that once you buy it, they multiply. You may get three, four, up to like 10 tubers. That's 10 plants that if you preserve them the right way, you will have a bunch of tubers to grow the next year. So it's a great investment as far as I can see it. I love that dahlias are so easy to grow. I think a lot of people are afraid of them, but I am in zone A, B. And the dahlias grow really easily. The secret is to start them indoors. Without, like I said, I'm gonna show you in the next video, but also storing them right so that you can go ahead and get incredible amount of dahlias for your small yard. Now dividing them is not difficult. You'll see in the next one the best time if you're starting. I've been doing this for years but I still do it in the spring. You can see the eyes. You can see how healthy they are and I think it makes it a lot easier than doing it in the fall. 
dahlias are perfect for a small garden. I love them because you really, I know they say to leave certain distance, but I literally will put one and another one facing away from each other with a stem coming opposite. And I can grow them close together and they do just fine. Dahlias won't grow on every single zone. I know people think, oh, they're from Mexico and they're gonna grow anywhere that's warm, but that's not the case. They come from the mountains in Mexico, so you gotta keep that in mind. It's really hot, 90 degrees above, you wanna put a shade cloth. Go ahead and place them in a spot in your garden that it gets the morning sun, and then maybe goes a little bit into shade in the late afternoon so it doesn't get that super scorching heat. So keep that in mind. Look at the zone you're at and see if they're gonna grow well. If not, maybe grow them in containers so you can control where the dahlia is at the different times of the year versus June versus August when it gets super, super hot. The anemone dahlias are beautiful in containers. They're so soft. There's a lot of them out there. This totally tangerine I've always grown each year is really pretty. And the apple blossom, this one is a little harder to get, but totally worth it if you find it. Keep in mind that they do grow tall if you grow them in containers. But dahlias add so much to a garden that I grow them no matter what. I get only partial sun where I grow them and they still do fantastic make sure they get six hours of sun and they should do really really well now dahlias in flower arranging they are the most fun again because on the different stages as they grow so many of them change but you gotta keep in mind when you harvest make sure that you're harvesting at the stage that you want it so you don't want them completely closed or you don't want them fully open because they won't last you want them right when they start opening fully and the reason is because they do not keep growing. It's not like a rose that it keeps growing. Once you harvest the dahlia, that's what you get. So if you want to have them closed, they still look beautiful closed, but make sure that you're harvesting at the right time for the look that you want. They make the most stunning flower arrangements when you mix them with zinnias and other flowers. I love green mist because it's just really lazy looking. They just make for fun flower arranging. So grow them. You need to grow them because they're so rewarding. I just cannot imagine a garden without dahlias. Okay, did I convince you yet? Because I hope I have. If I haven't yet, let me show you even more reasons to go ahead and get some dahlias in your small garden. Dahlias are so perfect to make flower arrangements. I love using straw flowers, sunflowers, zinnias. They look so beautiful with them. One of the ways that I'm able to use the dahlias that are even beginning to wilt on the back, that's where they show the first leaves that are dying. You can cut them very short, just remove the stem and then lay them flat in water. I like to play with these arrangements that are laying flat on a bowl. This one is all dahlias and I try to keep the same sort of color spectrum in it and just use the lighter to darker values of it and it made such an interesting arrangement and it lasted quite a bit of time. But let me show you how you can make the same arrangement and add some other flowers like Xenia, some herbs, and I add anything that I have in my garden and you can add so much dimension interest. They're just so beautiful to use in flower arranging. Hi, my name is Melba and I'm a designer that fell in love with gardening. I'm an urban gardener and I try to grow as much as I can in food and flowers. And designing is my passion, so if you want to learn how to design your tiny backyard and get some tips, go ahead and give us a follow. 
and I'm gonna give you some of my favorite dahlias now that I absolutely love and think you may want to try. Last year I experimented more with the pom-pom style of dahlias and also one that has a mixture. It has some pom-pom style and also cactus. So they're a mixed type of bulb. You never know what you're going to get and got some beautiful ones. But I fell in love with pom-poms. They last a lot longer than the dinner plate. So I decided to grow as many as I could and I'll share with you the ones that I really love and I'm growing again this year. The Penhill Watermelon is one of my favorites. It is not a new dahlia, but it is so dramatic. The size, the feather looking leaves that it has, the petals is so pretty and the color is so striking. I will always grow it. Peaches is another favorite of mine because it grows so round and it looks like almost like the wind hit it. Just kind of stretch petals that curve all the way to the back. I think it's one of the most beautiful dahlias out there. Even the bees agree with me. I really love that this plant gave so many flowers. I had plenty of flowers to harvest and have plenty to be kept on the stem. I really enjoyed it. It is probably number one in my list, I think. Maybe number two, because I have another one I'll show you. This is the one that would be number one for me. It has this beautiful center that is lavender. This is a romantic mix. Absolutely stunning Dahlia. I really love how it turned white on the edges. And as it grows, it really, the whole thing almost turns white. But it's so interesting to be able to harvest this dahlia and use it at different stages for flower arranging. I really do like it. This is the same dahlia, it's a mix, and you get this uh, cactus also flower on it. And you get it pink like this. You also get a white collar one. So it gives you so much. It is, romantic mix has to be Absolutely number one. Here it is in Hawaii where it really just looks like a completely different flower. Cringeton Honey. That was a new one also and i fallen in love with it. It starts a peach color that you see on the right and then as it ages it turns yellow. You can see the whole back is yellow and it's really really round in shape. I think is one of the prettiest dahlias I've seen out there and I am so 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 happy to have her. This beauty is called Milena Fleur. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. F-L-E-U-R. It is striking. The colors are bright but soft at the same time. Really a beautiful dahlia if you want something that really highlights a bouquet very nicely. Of course, I can't leave out the Café Olé. This Café Olé is a Café Olé Royale, so it has a few brighter tones within the petals. Any of the Café Olés are going to be such a statement in any garden. You cannot have dahlias and not own one of these beauties. I hope that I have inspired you to look into the world of dahlias and know that if you grow them, don't spray them. The bees love the dahlias and the poison will live within its petals for many years to come. Share with nature. Remember that your garden oasis is for you.